talks right now is when we click coffee here you can see appear three uh, three choice okay it appears three choice small medium or large mean this item it have three ties but this item it have only two ties okay if i choose a uh, medium one it will appear into the list <laughs> Hello guys, welcome back to John Coder. Today I have a new project that I already built and I want to share source code to the public or I want to share this project or the system to users all over the world that they want to use a system POS. And let me show you step by step. Okay, I hope a new developer can get this code to custom to, to whatever they want or can get any idea about this. Okay, let's start. Okay, and this system it just focus on POS mean point of sale, and it will print out in here. Okay, let me explain you step by step about the menu here. Here is customer mean we can register customers, we can add a new customer, and we can add a new item and product line and report and POS, and then we also write and setting we have user privilege. Okay. So let me talk about this first because I think this menu is it related to other menu. Okay, then go ahead. Okay, we when we ask get the menu and this menu it has three points that we need to know about it. One is POS point and item and other is when uh, invoice or receive that already print or paste we, we have in list here and a customer and add there is a chain. A chain it mean what we are selling is have an item focus the best on currency dollar and we want to exchange other currency to bat or a row or whatever. And I put here is a chain to KHI, it is a real currency and one dollar it can change to four thousand real, okay? And my small amount, I put 100. And here is small amount is 0 0.1 cent, okay? And then if I commit, I mean, I want to change it and accept it, okay? And example now, I want to change here to 1,100, mean increase one dollar yet more than 4,000, okay? If I put here 4,100, okay? And click, okay, commit. And then we start to POS. In here, we have an item in here. This item we can register by here, and I will go to explain this one. But what I want to talk right now is when we click coffee here, you can see appear three, uh, three choice. Okay, it appears three choice. Small, medium, or large. Mean this item it has three ties, but this item it has only two ties. Okay. If I choose a uh, medium one, it will appear into the list. And I want to register a new customer or I want to update some information existing customer in here. And example here is, I want to remark it. He is the best customer. And after we have item in list, we can change quality or discount. In here, example, I want to change here is five percent and I want to add others item and I want to add snack. Okay, one more, yes, I will do. But if user want to set all this discount ten percent or twenty percent, I can check here and I put twenty percent here, okay? And then click OK it will appear all is 20 percent and amount will be changed like this and here i want to change the tools and then i can commit here to print out okay if everything is done we can print out our s1 okay and then i click here this is the payment method or we can call it is a form payment and if we pay the line is 20 but example i have turned the line so i can pay at the currency 44,000, 44,000, okay? 
So I have five fifty thousand. Okay, I have fifty thousand like this, and it will show return to the lab how much and return to currency other currency how much, and all this auto delays calculate and click OK. Request this message it request you print you want to print or not if you not click no it no print and yes it will appear to print if you have the printer it will print out and it will appear in invoice like this okay okay and then mean this invoice is complete paste and let me to explain about this this item or this item it appear from here example now I have a I coffee is three choice because of this point okay and espressos okay for espresso we have appear alert to two item so because of see example now I stop to use I want to start to use small and I use to sell only the medium one so I can inactive the small one and update here it did and then when I go back go back to POS and click coffee when I ch choose espresso here it no question to choose one small medium or large it auto appear into here because we no choice right it have only choice one choice is medium and if I choose I coffee here it's still here okay and if I want to disable a large one okay let here and then I disable this one okay and when we go back to coffee choose this we have only small and medium okay I hope you understand mean all these dynamics and user can control by themselves we they want to add they want to register whatever and if you have any question you can comment in the video below okay I hope you understand about this and okay to the next step here you can see what is complete. Complete means they are already payment completely and waiting means the invoice already prepared but not yet print out, not yet pay out customer waiting to add other item. Yeah, item here. And here we can set to discount zero all. Okay. And then pay. And then I put twenty twenty dollar in here and clicks and then print. It will appear into this year no discount and amount pay amount or return amount something like that okay it is easy and one more step that I want to notice with you is when you are complete the pay you cannot add more item you cannot mean if you want to change you want to um, do anything discount more it cannot but user can modify here when click modify mean user want to edit and okay system will be allow user example discount 10 percent all okay and then paste again if the amount is smaller so I put 19 dollar or 20 and it will show amount if we change to here and amount that we change to other currency and then click okay and then it will show like this. okay it is easy and one more case that I want to show you is you saw here this have a tea okay I want to sell a tea and snack here it is if I paste it's okay but example now your shop no snack have only coffee and tea we also can custom mean user can custom it also have a beverage or something okay I can active beverage and I disable snack okay and inform here it will appears it will appears coffee tea and beverage okay then this beverage and not yet registered so it don't have so tea and coffee it have item okay just only then. so this for me is the best point and let me go to add this menu so all this menu 
it's only report one more. A customer is easy. Just create or update. Yeah, whatever. And this menu, especially this menu. Okay, go to this menu tool and authorization. Authorization, it means now your invoice already complete, but have other management or how the other team leaders want to check or spot check in here. So they need to approve, authorize, or reject. Okay, I hope it is view control. You can understand about it. And example, now I authorize this one and also authorize this one. Okay. And go to report menu and device have a menu like this. Mean report that already authorized. How many items? It is detailed like this. And summary, it will have two in white. It will appear like this. And if you have reject, it will show in the check here. And if you have invoice not yet, authorized, not yet print out, it will show in this report. Okay, it's easy, right? So it is waiting or you can POS to complete what item that you need to print out or you need to have to print for other customer, example, this one or other. Okay. And yes, this is some, it's small and easy. It's easy. Just print for invoice for the customer or you can check it out. How currency exchange or whatever that you think it is have or can custom more. Okay. And other user privilege means user can create a user example now. I want to create a booking or cashier. Okay. And let me create here. POS the join coders. Okay. And let me copy here and here. And here you can put whatever. And here is I can put POS and password. Love. Okay, and here you can set effective login or expire, yeah, whatever. Then we have a new users in here, also can reset password or whatever. And let me test the user new log out and then put here and password. Okay, can log in. Okay, and menus, it's, it's just a little bit, I think it's easy to understand. If you have any problem, you can comment in the video below. Okay, thank you. Bye.